gee, if you look at India and you don't count in India PCs per school, you count schools per PC, how do you bring PCs into the classroom? So they took about a half a dozen school buses and just ripped out the inside and made them into computer laboratories with a microwave link on top and they drive the school bus from school to school to school and let kids participate. I happened to be at one of the schools when the bus came by and I was able to participate with the kids in their hour of, of two of learning that day and I came out of the bus there was a young ten-year-old girl standing there and I, I asked her as I often ask young children you know what's your favorite subject and she looked at me and didn't even blink and she said Tuesday <laughs> and I took me about a microsecond to realize the bus was there it was Tuesday her favorite subject was the school bus that came with the computer laboratory in it let's just take a little look at what happens every Tuesday at that school <laughs> प्रोग्राम शिक्षिका परिस्थिति Now that school bus idea was the brainchild of uh, Dr. Goji at Vidya Parishnan uh, Institute of Information Technology in Baramati. I was there about two years ago. I think it would be fun if we can just maybe go back and check in with Dr. Goji today and see what's happening. So if everything works well, what I'd like to do is see if we can have a video conference with Dr. Goji, and he's going to. Join us from Baramati, and you can see on the Google Earth here, we're going from downtown Las Vegas over to India, and we're going to go zooming in to southwest India to Baramati. You can see where Pune is there, and we're going to a telehealth center, apparently, where Dr. Goji is. Dr. Goji, welcome. Great to see you, Craig, here. Good to see you again, sir. I wonder if you can update us on what's going on since I was there in 2006. What other projects have you got going on? We are, we are really happy that uh, you were telling that half a dozen bus, now I'm seeing a dozen buses are there now. We are now running 13 such mobile vans. And uh, since la last year visit, we increased another seven more buses. And right now we are giving the computer education to 20,000 plus kids. And in fact, uh, this is growing uh, day by day and a uh, lot of corporates are coming forward to help us. And now we will be getting another 17 more mobile vans in another six months. The work is going on. So we are a bit busy in constructing the buses. We are having modifications into that. We are adding new systems. Now we are coming to your classmate PC to add into the buses. So that's why we are a bit busy in that. Another program we are running right now is uh, to train the women of rural India in computers so that they should know how to use computer and as well as they should give that facility to their kids. So we are running 107 such computer centers and as on today we are given computer education to 12,000 rural women. 
So this is how we are going on. Well, that's fantastic. It, it, it appears you're in a medical clinic right now. That's part of your digital city program, isn't it? Yes. You are aware that we are, right now I'm sitting in the telemedicine unit of our uh, Baramati, where uh, the unit which you, you must be remembering that you are inaugurated that time. This is now taken uh, very well shape now and it is running very well. Uh, the facility which we are having in this unit is the tele ECG that is this is a simple ECG machine which we are using to take the ECG of the patient with this electrodes which we are connecting to the patients and this ECG machine we are connecting to the computer and we are getting the ECG on this computer screen which we are transferring to expert hospital uh, to experts and we are getting the result of that within a few minutes which we are giving to the patients and we are uh, giving the further uh, treatment whatever needed. Similarly, we are having uh, another unit of uh, ophthalmology which we are using it for taking care of eyes. Here we are taking the interior and posterior images of eyes and we are sending it to the experts. As on today, 700 plus patients have taken the facility of this ECG and 1000 plus patients have taken the facility of this ophthalmology. And very soon we are expanding this to six to seven hospitals. That's well, all. Well, con congratulations on what you've been doing. I, I wonder if you could just take a minute and tell the audience from your perspective what it takes to make these programs scalable and sustainable. Do you have any secrets there? Uh, as such, you know, the f scalability is concerned, uh, the results, whatever we are giving, the outputs, whatever we are getting, because of which the corporates are coming forward. As far as the sustainability is concerned, we are very clear that the sustainability, we want to involve the community and let community also should be part of this program. And whatever the education we are giving to these kids, we are charging $3 a year, which is uh, sufficient to run uh, the mobile van throughout the year. That's why this is a self-sustainable project, and we are getting these results since last five years. So we are happy with this self-sustainability, that participation of corporates as well as the community itself. Well, let me offer my congratulations to what you've accomplished and the fact that you're really assisting in helping thousands of your fellow countrymen move forward. You've done a great job. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You know, this is a university dean at a information, information, an information technology institute, which basically saw a need in local community, saw what information technology could do to impact that. You heard in his words, School buses turned into computer buses. Education institutions for women to teach them computer skills. And now, basically, uh, medical clinics remotely located from the big hospitals, but still treating patients with big hospital care and quality. Uh, standard technology applied in small doses impacting people's lives going forward. You know, the this whole issue of of one step at a time, I think, is very important. When I was uh, in Kuala Lumpur at the World Conference in IT uh, several months ago, I came back to my room uh, one of the nights, and quite often you find on your pillow there's a little thought for the day. That's kind of like a fortune cookie, but on your pillow instead. And the thought for the day that uh, I saw in Kuala Lumpur was very, very simple. And it said, a small deed done is better than a great deed planned. And what we've been trying to show you today are, in fact, small deeds done. That is, people taking technology, you know, not the glitz.